Assalamu alaikum. My name is Farooq Abbas and I would like to share my experience of listening to Surah Al-Rahman. Uh, I got the message for about four or five years ago. At the time, I was going through severe depression, anxiety, panic attacks. Every small setback used to trigger my panic attacks and anxiety. And I used to get into a, a, a very depressive cycle. Um, it was so much so that uh, I started feeling trapped in my own body and I was getting suffocated a lot. I, I couldn't breathe. Uh, after uh, meeting a friend of mine, he gave me the message of Surah Al-Rahman at the time. I thought, uh, I've got nothing to lose, so why not give it a try? After listening to it the first day, uh, I started. I immediately started feeling better. It uh, was as though uh, the weight of a mountain has been lifted from my shoulders and I was feeling very light and uh, my suffocation was gone. Uh, having experienced this after the, after the very first day, I was hooked and I continued the course of the seven days and I completed the course of seven days, listened to the Surah Al-Rahman. And um, after seven days, I went from viewing the world as though nothing was a miracle to viewing it as everything is a miracle. It was a complete shift in perspective, uh, a positive change. Uh, uh, I, started, uh, I started enjoying enjoying every moment of my life. Uh, having seen this kind of an effect of Surah Al-Rahman, I could not wait to tell others about it and uh, to, to tell them how great it was and how it helped me out. Um, while giving the message to others, I, uh, I, I observed that uh, those who uh, uh, followed the method uh, that was prescribed uh, of how to listen and uh, they, uh, they did it with, uh, with complete focus and concentration, they had a very positive and huge impact in their lives and uh, their lives were considerably much better. Uh, in retrospect, after about four years now, uh, when I look back, those uh, anxiety, panic attacks, and depression, that was just the tip of the iceberg. I was unaware of the deep-seated issues and problems that I had in my personality, like greed, like uh, jealousy, like uh, uh, a, lot of these, a lot of these issues. And after listening to Surah Al-Rahman, uh, it was as though a light bulb has gone off in the room and uh, there was suddenly light in the room and I could see all the mess that there was. Uh, but uh, uh, the good thing about it was that uh, this time around, I did not, it did not, looking at that mess and looking at all that problems, I did not uh, go into depression or I did not, uh, it did not uh, induce anxiety or I did not get into anxiety. So Rahman also gave me, gave me the, um, the energy uh, to, to, to fight those and to better myself and to, and to make it, to make it, uh, to make myself better and to, and to, uh, uh, constantly battle with those issues that there are. Um, after about a year and a half of listening to Surah Al-Rahman, I got the opportunity of meeting the man leading the charge of spreading the message, who's also the, uh, spiritual successor of Kalandar Pak Rahmatullah and uh, what a personality. Um, uh, from the first day I met him, uh, he uh, treated me with such great respect and, uh, and love and gave me such attention that, um, that it felt like uh, as if I, I knew him. Uh, I have not met him. It's not our first meeting, but I've known him for a very long time. And uh, that was not just with me, but, but with anybody who would come, who would meet him for the first time or uh, for the nth time. He would treat them the same way, with great love, with great respect, with great uh, attention and focus. Uh, after meeting him, I sort of realized uh, what it means to be a lead, to be a leader, how, what it means to lead, um, what unfathomable, uh, what unconditional love can do, how it inspires creativity, how it in inspires innovation, how it inspires someone to do, to do better. Uh, after meeting him, I came to know what, uh, who great leaders are, who, who, uh, who are the leaders of humanity, not just the leaders of, of, um, 
you know uh, some some cause or something but but leaders of humanity who they are how their life were what their life was uh, what their teachings are and how how are we supposed to follow follow their path his complete and unwavering focus on spreading the message of surah al rahman and his love towards kalandar pak rahmatullah is absolutely breathtaking i've never met a person uh, like that in my life before uh, i've read about uh, such uh, focus and such great uh, love in books uh, i've seen it in movies but to see one in real life it's absolutely breathtaking and uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, i would say salute mere maula tu mere te rehm kar de mere maula tu mere te rehm kar de tenu teri rehm तक बरे पाई पड़दा तक बरे पाई पड़दा तेन तेरी करी दवास्ता जिस दे सदे सानू तू बख्शना है उस नूर कदी दवास्ता दिन में शरण बरी दी कुछ हो गए मुस्तफा दियती जिस दिया अखियां चाद अंदर वगदा दिन राती नीर हो गए किधरे गरीब नया खबेना फकीर हो रहीम कौन कहता है कि दुनिया में किसी बीमारी उलझन मुसीबत बदबखती या नहुसत का इलाज नहीं याद रखिए कुरान पाक मुकम्मल शिफा है तमाम वो लोग जो किसी भी जिस्मानी बीमारी जहनी उलझन 
نفسیاتی کر اور روحانی الجھنوں کا شکار ہوں وہ سور الرحمان سنے سور الرحمان سننے کا طریقہ کاری عبد الباسط عبد السمت کی آواز میں سور الرحمان بغیر ترجمے کے ویب سائٹ www.alrahman.com سے ڈاؤن لوڈ کر لیں یا ایپ دا الٹی میٹ ریمیڈی انسٹال کر لیں اب آنکھیں بند کر لیں اور بارگاہ الہی میں پیش ہو کر توجہ اور یکسوئی سے سنیں سور الرحمان ختم ہونے کے بعد آنکھیں کھول لیں اور آدھا گلاس پانی لیں آنکھیں دوبارہ بند کر لیں اور ڈوب کر دل میں تین بار اللہ 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 کہیں اور پھر یہ پانی تین سانسوں میں پی لیں یاد رکھیے شفا من جانب اللہ ہے آپ اس طریقے سے یہ تلاوت متواتر سات روز تک دن میں تین بار سنیں جبکہ عام تندرست لوگ دن میں ایک مرتبہ ضرور سنیں اور رحمت خداوندی سے مستفید ہوں یہ تحقیق مخدوم سید صفدر علی بخاری المعروف کاکیاں والی سرکار کلندر پاک رحمۃ اللہ علیہ کی ہے جن کی جذبی یکسوئی نے عشق حقیقی کے نور سے دم توڑتی اور سسکتی انسانیت کے قلوب کو منور کر دیا کلندر پاک رحمۃ اللہ علیہ پہ ہر دم لاکھوں سلام روحانی وارث کلندر رحمت اللہ علیہ ڈیٹ دیر از نو کیور ٹو اے فزیکل ڈیزیز ورلڈلی کمپلیکیشن اینڈ ادر ریفلیکشن مس فارچون اور ایولنس پلیز ریمبر دا ہولی قرآن از اے کمپلیٹ ریمیڈی اینڈ سورس آف بلیسنگس آل دو سفرنگ فرام اینی فزیکل ایلنس spiritual disturbances or mental psychological disorder should listen surah al rahman a recitation by kari abdul basit without translation how to listen please download recitation by kari abdul basit without translation from www.alrahman.com or install the app the ultimate remedy now close your eyes feel yourself in front of allah almighty then listen to it with greater concentration and closed eyes when the recitation is finished open your eyes and take half glass of water close your eyes again and say allah three times in your heart then drink the water with closed eyes in three sips. Remember, Shifa, cure is from the Almighty Allah. Shifa, min janabe Allah hai. Listen to it three times a day, morning, afternoon, evening, for seven consecutive days, while healthy people should listen only once a day. This research has been attributed to Hazrat Makhdoom Sayyid Saftar Ali Bukhari, famously called as Kaakiyam Ali Sarkar, Kalandar Paak Rahmatullah Alay, whose eliminating mystical focus and concern enlightens the languid hearts of suffering and pain-stricken humanity. Peace and blessings be upon Kalandar Paak Rahmatullah Alay. Spiritual Successor, Kalandar Park, Rahmatullah Alayh.